Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Premium Aquatics. I am Luke, and today we're going to be looking at these water samples. So, in the right corner, we have our tank water, and in the left corner, we have our RODI. And what are we going to be doing with this water? we're going to be testing it for silicates and iodine. Uh, we went over this with the test kit um, that we talked about from um, Triton Labs and what my results were and both of these numbers were off. My silicates were very high uh, and iodine I don't think was quite where it was supposed to be. I think it was a little low if I recall correctly which is why we also have this. Triton's iodine. But let's jump right into this because we want to get some results. Okay, so first let's test for silicates. This is the Salifert test kit. Comes with 60 tests. Very simple to do. We have our little card reader with our color chart. We have our syringe, um, the little vial, and then we have SI1, SI2, and SI3 and our little scoop. So what we're gonna be doing first is we're going to, let's do the tank water first. So let's go ahead and get one milliliter of water here. Put it in our container. We're gonna start off by adding the SI1. We'll add four drops. One, two, three, four. We're gonna gently swirl this around for 10 seconds and then we're going to allow it to stand for five minutes before we move on to SI2. So now that we added that, we will go to the SI2 and we're gonna add another four drops, swirl for 10 seconds, and this time we'll just allow it to stand for one minute instead of five. So let's put in our four drops. One, two, three, four. We're going to swirl for 10 seconds and then let it stand for a minute. And then last but not least, we are going to take the SI3, and this time, uh, this is a dry powder, we're going to add one level scoop into our mixture, and then we're going to swirl this again gently for 20 seconds, and our test will be complete. Then when it's complete, to uh, we're going to take our color chart, and for the low range, we are going to compare by looking through the side of the test vial, so it would be looking like this and see what color it's going to match up to. So uh, if we look here, they do say you want to use diffused light to help get an idea. I would say I'm anywhere between 0 and 0 0.03. Looks like we're pretty decent sitting at somewhere less than 0 0.03 at least. Um, so that's good. I'm going to confirm my test by just making sure our, our RODI water is at the same or better and uh, we'll be good to go. So let's run this test again. Let's go rinse out my uh, utensils here and then we'll run the test on the RODI water. All right, I am going to run it on the RODI water real quick just to make sure we're still good. Um, if you remember, I did change out my DI. Uh, just to kind of help combat the silicates that I was dealing with. Yep, I would say about the same. It's hard for you guys to see it, obviously, but uh, I'm saying this is also below 0 0.03, probably closer to zero. Uh, but everything is looking very good uh, for silicates. So, hooray, we are out of those, and uh, the new DI resin works. So, um, learn my lesson there. We'll make sure we stay on top of that so we don't have more issues down the road. Next, let's take a look real quick at the iodine. Uh, iodine can be very, whoops, iodine can be very beneficial for uh, corals, especially for zoanthids. Uh, iodine's been known to be very beneficial for them. So we got uh, I2, 1, 2, and 3, our instructions, and then of course our color chart. So let me go ahead and rinse out, and we will go ahead and test this. Okay, so for iodine, we are going to be doing one milliliter of water from our tank, and then we will add one drop of number two. One drop, and then we're gonna gently swirl for 10 seconds. 
This is actually a super simple test kit. Take some time at all, 10 seconds. And then we are going to add four drops of the number three. And after four drops is done, we're going to gently swirl for 10 seconds and then let it stand for three minutes. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to uh, let it sit for three minutes and then we're gonna do our readings. Okay, so doing the test here, um, hard again for you to tell, but I'm getting uh, 0.03 or less, it looks like, according to this test results. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a little Triton uh, update to the tank with some iodine. I'm gonna be very, very cautious about adding to the system just so we don't overdo it. I wanna be very careful with that and we'll test our water um, as we go uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't overdose this and really throw, throw off the tank. So beyond that, that's it guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Go check out Solifert and their test kits. Uh, super simple to do, super easy to get set up. Uh, color charts, all you need there. Uh, very simple. So short and sweet, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, go test those tanks. Make sure your parameters are right. Just so you know, we went and got a couple of new fish for the system. They've been in here a while now. Uh, but uh, I wanted to try and get something to help with these flatworms. Not this guy. I just love him. So, uh, But uh, over... Over yonder on the other side, he's hanging out. Um, got a Melanaris wrasse. See if maybe he can help out with the tank and these flatworms. And so far, looks like he's doing a pretty bang up job. So we'll talk about that later, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, share the content, hit that video, plus yada, yada, notifications, all that good jazz. We love you. We'll check you out later. Peace.